welcome back to my channel hope you've all had a wonderful day today's video is a little bit late but it is my empties for May um, so I actually used up quite a lot in May um, but I just hadn't got around to filming a video so I'm really sorry that it's later than usual normally I try to have it up on the first of the month um, but yes I have been slacking so it's time to get into it let's just get going um, so the first thing I have is just a box of tissues these are the softies ones I think we got them from Audi or somewhere like that they were fine I really like having a box of tissues on the coffee table um, because Dre is terrible for just grabbing a loo roll and I can't do that my nose is just too sensitive um, so I love a box of tissues um, I do need to get a new box so there's those I have a pack of the Lapalu baby wipes um, I think I say this in every video um, I like to have a pack of baby wipes hanging around just in case we need them for anything. Um, so I have a pack in my car and I have a pack upstairs in our bedroom um, just in case we need them for anything. Usually it's to, um, you know, Dre uses them to wipe his face over before he gets into bed um, if he's feeling a bit lazy. Um, so yeah, there's those. Um, I used a foot pack. This was the Derma V10 Deep Moisturising Honey and Almond. Um, I liked it. I didn't think it really smelled of anything. Um, but it was a nice one. Um, in the summer, I am wearing flip-flops all the time. Um, so my feet have been getting a little bit dry. So I really appreciated having one of these lying around to use. Um, I do intend to use one of the peeling ones again at some point. Um, but for now, I was quite happy with this one. It did the job. Um, I would, I do prefer one that has a bit more of a stronger scent, so I probably wouldn't choose this one again. But I do like the ones by Derma V10, so they're fine. Uh, next up, we just have a Clean and Protect Antibacterial Hand Wash. Um, this lasted us ages, to be fair. And I'm pretty sure it's from Audi. Yeah, I'm not sure, it doesn't say. Um, but I'm pretty sure this was from Audi. This one was in the kitchen um, and it did last us ages. There's a little bit left at the bottom because I usually mix the last little bit with water just so that I can get it out. Um, but yeah, that one is gone. I would repurchase it. It worked fine for us. Uh, next up, I have a sink and drain unblocker. This was just from Morrison's. Um, our kitchen sink, I think the pipes are a bit old so sometimes they get clogged up really easily. Um, this worked pretty well. It does say that you're supposed to use the whole bottle, um, but I didn't. I used half a bottle each time um, because I think a whole bottle is a tad excessive. Um, but yeah, there's that. Um, I have this Hawaiian Tropic Ultra Radiance Suntan Lotion in SPF 30. This one had been lying around for ages, so I made it my mission to try and finish it up and use it up um, and thankfully it is gone because it had separated a little bit um, which is fine but obviously you want something decent and I'm pretty sure you're only supposed to keep um, sun cream for like a year um, so that one really needed to go. Um, my lovely friend Marie if you're watching we have the butt wipes um, so these are the comfy soft ones. I picked these up in Home Bargains. They're two packs for a pound. Um, yeah, there's not much more I can say about it. I like a fresh tush. Um, so yeah, there's those. I will repurchase them. I do every time we're close to running out. So there's them. Um, I finished up a bottle of Fabulosa. This was the Spring Blossom one. I did really like it. I then refilled this bottle with... Um, some Zaflora and I really didn't like the scent of that so I think um, the Spring Blossom one was lovely by Fabulosa but I can't remember what the um, the other one was but I did really like this one and I like the fact it comes with a spray bottle you can just buy the mixer bottles to put in these which I think is a really good idea um, because then you're not creating too much waste with this plastic one. Um, but I do have another bottle with a plastic spray um, before they bought out the little refillable bits um, to use up first. So that's out there. I have a shampoo and conditioner. These are the Garnier Ultimate Blends um, Hair Food Papaya and Coconut. 
I didn't like these and it's really sad because they smell lovely um, and it says for damaged hair um, it's a recyclable bottle that's exciting um, I didn't like them I thought the shampoo was fine that didn't particularly offend me in any way I didn't mind it the conditioner was just not moisturizing or conditioning rather at all I felt like it was really sort of thin I didn't think it was very creamy at all um, so I wouldn't repurchase these together again maybe the shampoo if I wanted a shampoo on its own um, but I really didn't like the conditioner Dre finished these up in the end because I just wasn't a fan so there's those oh sorry um, I have this little lavender candle um, I'm really into my lavender at the moment um, and I don't know whether I'm feeling more anxious than usual there's not really anything I can particularly pinpoint but the smell of lavender at the moment is just instantly calming to me um, and I'm looking for a way to kind of have something lavender scented on me all the time so that if I am feeling a bit anxious I can just give it a sniff and feel calmer um, but yeah this candle was lovely. Um, my mum bought me them, bless her, in a set of three. I think there's a lemon one, a rose one, and there was this lavender one. So obviously the lavender one I burnt first. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed using it. It's a shame I couldn't get it all out. It just kind of stopped burning, but it did smell amazing. So I did really enjoy that. Uh, the next thing I have is the Avon Naturals Sugar Plum and Vanilla. Um, it's just a spray scented spritz um so i was using this on me and then i realized i really wasn't a fan of the smell um so i ended up using it as like a bed or like room mist and thankfully it is gone um i just you know when you could just get bored of a smell that's kind of how i felt with that one um so although it was okay i just wasn't a fan um another pack of butt wipes there's those uh, I have some hand creams so I have this patisserie de ban sugared violet um, hand cream this was okay I wouldn't repurchase it again the patisserie de ban ones I find or bane I find the scents too strong they're too sickly for me I really enjoyed them at one point and I have quite a few things um, still buy them to use um, but I wouldn't repurchase them. I just find the scents too strong for me. They were just a bit overpowering. Um, so yeah, it was okay. It felt moisturising. It was quite thick, which was good. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't get it again. And then I have this Kath Kidston, um, just little mini one. I think I got this in a birch box many moons ago. Um, and I absolutely loved this one. I thought it was lovely. I would repurchase it again. Um, but I have a ton of hand cream upstairs, so I don't need it anytime soon But I would definitely repurchase a Kath Kidston one again because it was just really nice uh, I have another candle. This was a Crystalina's Blackberries one. Um, I got it for Christmas um, That's what it looks like um, And it was lovely it, it has quite an artificial blackberry smell, which I didn't mind to be fair um, and I really liked burning it, but quite a lot of the wax sort of got left behind. Um, sorry, there's half a match in there. Um, but yeah, I did really like it. Would I get it again? Possibly. Did it burn for 25 hours? Mm, not sure about that, but I did like it. It was okay. Uh, next up, I have a sensitive non-bio gel. Um, this is what I was using to obviously wash our clothes. I don't like a gel. I don't like the fact I have to put it in the washing machine in a cap. It really irritates me. Um, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't purchase this one again. I think it was one of those ones I'd said to Dre, we need some washing stuff. Can you just grab one? He went out and grabbed the quickest one he could find. Um, but I, I like the ones from Audi, the all matte ones. I think they're great. I think they, they're fabulous. So they're the ones I tend to lean towards. But yeah, there's that. Um, I have two wild deodorant like cardboard insert things. I finished up the deodorants. There was the Bergamot Rituals one and the Coconut Dreams. Both scents were lovely. Um, I am trialing a different deodorant at the minute. I'm trialing a Mitchum one, um, just because 
my mum got it for me because um, she'd heard good things about it so I am testing that out at the moment so these are on the back burner um, but I, I still really love Native um, and it makes me sad that it's an American brand um, I might end up looking back into them again at some point if the Mitchum and these ones just still don't fall into my love circle um, but these are really good I recommend them um, but yeah, I'm on a different one at the moment. So there's two of those. Uh, I have an Oral-B toothpaste. It was fine. It worked quite happily. It is like a, a half size toothpaste. Um, so I think I probably wouldn't purchase a half size again because they just run out so fast. Um, but yeah, it was okay. I didn't mind it. Uh, next up we have a super... Super Dry Sport Recharge Body and Face Wash. Um, Dre started using this and then he said he didn't like it, um, so I finished it off. Um, and it was okay, I wasn't phased by it either way. Uh, would I buy a product by Super Dry? Probably not, because I imagine the price tag is ridiculous. Um, but I think he got these in a set for Christmas. So yeah, if you receive something in a set, it's quite nice, but I wouldn't necessarily purchase it myself. Uh, next up I have this Sheer Butter Exfoliating Sugar Body Scrub. I didn't like this. Um, I love Body Shop products and I think they're great. Their packaging usually infuriates me, but this packaging was fine. What I didn't like about it was the greasy feel it had. Like, you'd scrub it on and then you'd obviously wash it away, but it would still leave like water droplets on your skin that hadn't soaked away because of the like consistency of this I, I didn't enjoy it I had to then after using this I then had to scrub myself with something different to get rid of the like oily texture I'm not an oily fan I just mm. so I wouldn't purchase this again but it was nice to use um, and if I received it again I would use it I just wouldn't purchase it um, but if you're okay with that kind of oily slippery texture then you'd probably quite like that um, I'm not describing it in a great way but it just wasn't for me so there's that um, I had two um, makeup y products um, so I haven't actually uploaded the video yet so spoiler um, I had both of these in my project 10 pan so I have finished the number 7 city light tinted moisturizer and I finished the Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer Moisturizer from First Aid Beauty. So there is those. Um, I also finished the Lovely Perfume by Sarah Jessica Parker. Delightful perfume. Rollerball is not my style. I hated the rollerball. Um, but I did like the perfume. Would I repurchase it? Mm, maybe. It was a scent I liked. I have a lot of perfume upstairs, so I definitely don't need to. Um, but if I received it again, I would love to use it. So there is that. And then the last thing I have is a shampoo and conditioner sample. It is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Joa. These are my all time favorite shampoo and conditioners. Um, they're beautiful, I love them. The smell is amazing. It makes my hair smell glorious for days. Um, I'm not a every other day hair washer. My hair is quite not dry, but it doesn't get greasy that quickly, which is fabulous. Um, so I tend to kind of wash my hair and then leave it like maybe three or four days before I wash it again. Um, and these just, oh, they're glorious. Every time I wash my hair with them, someone always comments saying, oh, your hair smells lovely, what did you use? These bad boys. Um, I love them and I will continue getting the samples because the products themselves are just so expensive. I think they're like £14 per bottle and they're not big bottles either, which makes me really sad. But they are fabulous and I love them. Right, so that is everything I used up during May. We'll have a quick count up and then, yeah, I'll love you and leave you. So we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 
So 27 products is not bad. I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, I have a couple of other bits that I've already used up, but they will count as part of my June empties. Um, so you will see those very soon. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more fun things to come. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.